Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. It's the new age, we're working on a hybrid uh, 2017 Toyota Camry. Not really a no crank, well the engine doesn't run at all, it doesn't move. <laughs> So, uh, first did a health report, it did not auto ID the car, I'm like, well that's strange, so I put it in manually, and it said the ECM was offline, it was gray on the Think Tool Pros, can't talk to the ECM, engine cooling fans are running, so it's an auction car, and first thing you want to do is check powers and grounds to the engine computer. So for that we need a wiring diagram. engine controls and right up here we have our main fuses and battery fuse that's the easiest one to check EFI 1 fuse 7.5 amp right there gray wire and then EFI main 1 fuse 30 amp that should be hot at all times all these are hot at all times. So, quick look at the fuse box. Well, fuse box, this is EFI fuse, the 30 amp. It was missing. I put it in. Now we have communication with the engine computer. That was the easy part. Now, car still doesn't start is disabled we have a code in the hybrid control system hybrid battery positive contactor control circuit high p0adc let's look up this code in service info and see how the system is controlled all right here is the description of the code open or short to battery positive in the SMRB circuit, primary circuit of SMR plus is malfunctioning. So what is that? Here's a cool wiring diagram system description. High voltage battery is supplied to the inverter via the system main relay operation. So we have this relay block, hybrid battery junction block assembly. It has three relays, SMRG, SMRP, and SMRB. The code is for this relay for the control circuit being stuck high. And these relays are controlled by the power management control ECU. Okay. So, if we go to the hybrid control system, wiring diagram here's our hybrid battery junction block assembly right side of hybrid supply battery assembly three relays and the gray wire SMRB controls this main relay number two so let's physically find this block and on our scanner we actually have live data reporting So we have, you know, I basically selected all the data PIDs here. There's 23 pages, and just to save some time, I already browsed through <laughs> most of these pages, and I, I think on page 21, you can see why new cars can take exponentially more time to diagnose, especially ones with multiple drivetrain systems. We're looking for the status of these three relays. Here we go. SMRB control status. And then the actual status. Control, actual, control, actual. So you can see these two, the SMRG and SMRP, agree they're all off. SMRB is stuck on even though the control status says off. That's a problem. So now we have live data here. Let's find this block and the wiring diagram 
shows on connector let's see here these three control wires pins 2, 3, and 4 on connector I3 that's at the power management control ECU behind the glove box we're going right for this hybrid battery junction block assembly and on connector 09 pins 3, 4, and 1 we'll have these control wires and then pin 2 is a ground okay so back to the wiring diagram pin 1 controls the relay that we're after pin 2 is a ground it's a black wire pin 3 is a pink wire pin 4 is a blue wire let's find this alright so here is the hybrid battery on the side there's a little cover it was only held down by one screw out of three so someone's already been here it's an auction car you know you're gonna find surprises uh, well we'll just keep going with the diagnosis so this little four pin connector we have the blue pink black and gray wires that's where we want to do our checks now looking at the status here take a voltmeter and let's check the gray wire. Oh, we're at 10.1 volts. So that agrees, status is on. We'll check the pink wire. 0 0.9 millivolts, so that is off, that agrees. And the blue wire, 51 millivolts, that's also off, that agrees. Now we can do a very safe bypass test with a 200 milliamp test light. These are regular relays. I just want to hear them click and see if the status here changes. So test light is connected to battery positive. It finds a ground. It lights up. <clears throat> so let's start with the blue relay. And the blue is pin 4. That will be our SMRP relay, okay? So if I touch the blue wire, you hear the click. Now let's see what happens to our status. SMRP is down there. Touching the test light, it says on and then off. Okay, so, so that right there checks the wiring integrity all the way to the power management ECU. It checks that the relay here is clicking at least um, mechanically it's doing something and the scan data is accurate amazing so with one quick check it's safe with a test light we're just controlling that the control pin for that relay it works okay let's check SMRG so that would be the next wire the pink wire right here so test light from battery positive again touch it to the pin you hear the relay click and indeed SMRG status turned on so that works now what about the one that the code is being set for this one is on right now and it's supposed to be off so we can connect our test light to battery ground ground that wire and see if the relay turns off if that wire is shorted to battery positive or what is going on uh, with that wire. <clears throat> uh, actually, before you do that, let's just unplug it and see if the voltage is coming from the relay side, if something is shorted in this box, or from, from the power management ECU. So, just unplug this. We're still at 10 volts, and we're still showing on on the SMRB status pin. Okay. Now let me reconnect my test light to battery ground and we'll pull that wire down and see what happens. Alright, so test light's connected to battery ground now. If I touch that, so we pull that down to zero volts and SMRB status is now off. And now it's on. So what did that prove? Again, wiring integrity to the power management ECU is good and for some reason So this is like a, a, a voltage sense, you know, if it wants the relay on, it'll send 
current down that wire. However, by default, when the connector is unplugged, you can see all the status is on, on, and on. However, it doesn't send any current. It's just an integrity check for the whole circuit. So when we plug it in, you see that turned off, that turned off, the relays did not click, but the current is going, the very small, you know, sense current is going to the through the control side of the relay to ground. But SMRB stays on. What does that mean? That means something from here to here is open, open circuit. We don't hear this relay click and the voltage sense does not drop. So when everything's plugged in, we can also pull it down to ground. SMRB status goes off, release my test light, goes on. Relay does not click. Okay, so what's the problem? Is there a problem with the pin fitment or with the internal relay inside this block? Well, the pins all look good. However, take a look inside of this connector. I see three out of four pins. You see that the gray wire pin, SMRB, is, is not there. It's missing. That is so bizarre, but that's what's causing our code. What happened to that pin? <laughs> so the problem is right here. This connector is missing one male pin, and that's causing our code and causing the vehicle not to start. If we go back to the description of the code, Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Where was it? It said here that this will cause the vehicle not to start. There's if if code P0ADC226 is stored, the vehicle cannot be started. That's a safety thing. It can't switch on or off the you know high voltage battery, so it just disables the entire vehicle. So we found the problem, now the question is, can we safely pop that cover open and see why that pin is missing for that relay? I mean, the, the safe thing to do here is basically replace that relay block instead of opening it up and stuff. But um, that, that's the diagnosis. We're missing a pin on the uh, hybrid battery junction block relay box.